When taking impressions, it's a good idea to start by mixing the silicone after you take it out of the fridge or freezer because there is a settling process where there's a clear layer on top. So you want to thoroughly mix, grabbing any silicone that might be settled onto the bottom or the sides and make sure it's fully homogeneous. Then using Vaseline as a separator, we're going to apply that to the limb almost like you're applying lotion. It doesn't need to be very thick, just need a nice shiny sheen to the skin so that the silicone can be easily removed. If they're a hairy individual, you want to make sure that you're matting the hair down so that it doesn't stand up and get trapped in the uh, silicone. Next, you want to help them find a relaxed position. For most people, that's with their arm at their side. So this user is uh, in a nice functional position with their arm relaxed at their side. After they find that position, just have them bend their elbow and I like to start with them in the palm up position to apply the silicone. Each tub of silicone comes with one vial of catalyst. If you need more work time, add less catalyst. I use two tongue depressors and that's because the silicone is very viscous when it's cold and there's also another reason for those two tongue depressors which you'll see here in a second. So I squeeze out most of the catalyst that's in that vial and I begin mixing it at this point you want to work very quickly. Spend about 30 seconds mixing the silicone. It's very important to get it thoroughly mixed. Any silicone that doesn't come in contact with the catalyst will not set. So it's important to take your time and make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Then you want to apply the silicone over the user's limb. Let it fall to the table underneath. You want to try to get the silicone out of the container as quickly as possible and not spend a lot of time slowly pouring it, but get as much of it out of the container as quickly as possible. And this is where I use the two tongue depressors to reapply the silicone. I'll put them flat on the table, push them together, scoop up some silicone, and then spread the tongue depressors apart over top of the individual's limb, and let the silicone flow out from the two tongue depressors to recoat the surface. You don't have to have it really thick, you just have to have full coverage of the skin. So just spreading those tongue depressors apart to apply as much as possible that is dropped down to the table. At this point too it's good to have somebody mixing up your second tub of silicone so that you don't have to stop what you're doing to apply more silicone because it will take more than one tub to coat the whole arm. And just like before you want to get the silicone out of the container as quickly as possible and onto the limb letting it fall below. Just looking for any areas that don't have any coverage anywhere you can see skin. A particular problem area that typically gets missed is the back of the arm and you can use the same technique by pulling the tongue depressors apart and having the user internally rotate their shoulder and pronate fully but sometimes you do have to paint the silicone on in this area. You want to try to avoid touching the silicone impression when it's on the limb because it introduces air and bubbles inside the impression but this is one area where you typically will have to sort of paint the silicone on to get full coverage. Otherwise, just use the flow from the tongue depressors to coat the rest of the arm. After the limb's fully covered, you can remove your gloves and try to keep as much silicone on the limb as possible. Any areas that are dropping off just sort of reapply those onto their limb and then return them to a relaxed position. Some people have a hard time with the uh, relaxed position at their side so this isn't always what you would do. Sometimes you would just keep their arm above the table but at this point you can cue them to hold the thumb or index or remaining fingers in a certain position. To remove the silicone you start pinching the silicone away from the skin so that it frees up from the skin surface and you do this from the proximal edge down to the distal limb. It's also necessary for the upper part to tear the silicone to make taking the silicone off a lot easier. You don't want to cut this, you want to let it actually rip so that we can key it up together when we fill it. The edges will line up a lot better. 
this point, we do sort of a tug of war. I pull against the individual. They wiggle their fingers and just slowly pull it off. It's not meant to be a quick process, but slowly free themselves up from the mold. If anything else rips, that's no problem at all. We try to support the mold as they slide fully out of the silicone. You want to check the inside to make sure you have coverage everywhere. If there's any big holes, you would want to take another impression. But if it looks good, you can package it up with some stuffing inside the silicone to keep it from collapsing and send it our way.